myofunctional therapy. It's, it's a bit of a new uh, treatment modality as far as the industry goes and we'd just like to, to introduce it. So um, I'll defer to their better knowledge on myofunctional therapy. So Jody, if you could kind of just in broad strokes tell us what, what you see myofunctional therapy is based okay. on. So our functional myofunctional therapy, um, it's, what it is, it's a program that involves a seri series of exercises that helps to restore the normal function of our facial muscles, our lips, our tongue and our breathing. Um, a lot of people have myofunctional disorders and they can result from different things like through the airways, it could be thumb sucking, Oh, there's a whole list of um, so, so myo myo comes from myo being muscle uh, muscle and function. So it's it's about the muscles doing the right thing to have our systems in balance. Right? That's right. That's correct. So it's all about balance. Yes. And if our balance is out, we get a little bit of I, I like to call it the domino effect. If yeah. one of them tips, then you go. Tip, tip, tip. My functional therapy is just one of those where we try and upright some of those dominoes yes. and combine in the holistic uh, world that we, we, we live in some other of the other modalities in there to, to help with the rest of the with the dominoes yes. so um, and, and and one of it is is the airway and I think that's kind of very important because um, one of the treatment modalities for, for for instance snoring and sleep apnea is strengthening the muscles yes so humming and like the didgeridoo and yeah. some tongue exercises mm -hmm. all strengthen the structure here and will help significantly and the studies have come out quite yeah. positive on that will help significantly for the airways mm -hmm. to function better the more muscle strength is built up yep. so that's just one one aspect of my functional therapy so so the others are um aberrant movements like swallowing incorrectly with mm -hmm. tongue thrusting tongue thrust, um, helping teach people who've had a say a tongue tie and getting teaching them how to use their tongue properly a lot of the time they've had so much restriction throughout their lives that they adapt using their facial muscles their lips just to or make just, a simple swallow. Or just the wrong portion wrong. of the tongue. Yeah. And it's so still the tongue, thing. but it's, the tongue is this massive we, we unsupported muscle. It's, a, it's it's actually an amazing muscle. It is. It best is orthodontic a, appliance out there. Absolutely. And the best retentive orthodontic grip right. appliance out there. So. We do a lot of um, work with particularly kids who've had air, upper airway obstructions, who've been mouth breathing a lot of the time, they've got low tongue rest posture, so it's just about training that tongue to sit up in the roof of the mouth. And we also do a lot of stuff with children who've been thumb sucking or had other sorts of habits just. And there's a lot of crossover between that and for instance speech pathologist mm -hmm. um, and, and ENTs, mm -hmm. you know, some sort of specialists. So we, yep. we, we try and incorporate all that.